And this isn't from your bathroom. This isn't <laughs> belong to your to belong to your no, cat, does it? No, no, okay, not in no, the kitchen. Just, okay, no, no, it's nice. Um, right to celebrate the start of Wimbledon, Juliet's at Hewlow Farm. That's in Kent, and that has been supplying Wimbledon for straw with strawberries for 25 years. The official mm. Wimbledon strawberries, and uh, they've sent some. The I smell, know. Juliet, are. Just ridiculous, gorgeous. They do smell yeah. like they're Have you eaten one strawberry. Yet? They are very good. Um, Julia, so what is it you're going to be making with these lovely strawberries? Um, so I'm actually going to be making some mini Wimbledon-inspired pavlovas um, with a little twist. Um, and I'm here in Kent and I'm joined by Marion, who is the farm owner. And I understand, Marion, this farm's been in your family for, since 1893? Yes, I mean, goodness, a fifth generation now growing strawberries here in Kent. And how long have you been supplying Wimbledon for exactly? Um, I think it's nearly 30 years. Um, my father first started supplying the championships and we've carried it on. So for two weeks, it's all consuming. I bet. So I understand that you actually pick the strawberries freshly every morning. Well, as you know, freshness and flavour is all about. That's the one thing that matters with strawberries. So we start really early in the morning at five and pick the strawberries fresh every day. Um, so that they can be delivered to the championships, ready to eat with a, with as they come, or maybe with some cream. And and they're absolutely perfect. So I'm sure you're really busy. I'm going to let you get on with that, and I'm going to get on with my recipe, um, which I can't wait to share with you. Um, so starting off with the hero of the dish, these Wimbledon strawberries. So first of all, I'm just going to add a little dash of pims in into these, just to make them nice and flavoursome and juicy, and a little bit of sugar. So you just want to sort of leave those to macerate and become nice and juicy. So on to the meringue, very, very simple. I've whipped up my egg whites here until they're stiff peak. Now I'm just going to start adding in some sugar to this. So you just want to add the sugar in slowly, about a tablespoon or so at a time. And you'll see it will just become lovely and white and shiny and glossy. The great thing about doing this as well, you can actually make your meringues in advance. Um, they'll keep for up to two weeks. Um, so you can just get those all ready and have them on hand. And then when you're ready to fill them with cream and add the strawberries, you can just go for it then. So you can get ahead, get ahead of time. Especially if you're doing some perhaps Wimbledon parties and having some guests round, these will be perfect for that. Just get the rest of the sugar in here. And this is an absolutely heavenly combination. You've got the lovely light and crisp meringue with the fresh strawberries and the cream. So once you've got that all to stiff peak, I'm just going to add in a little bit of corn flour and a dash of vinegar and some vanilla. So once that's all mixed in, you should have a lovely stiff glossy meringue mixture. So now it's time to create the pavlovas. I'm just going to pop that down there. So all you need is a couple of spoons. So just pile them onto the tray. Just sort of dollop them on like that. Just leave a bit of space in between because they will expand as they bake. And then all you need to do is just kind of neaten them off with a spoon and then just make a little dip inside like this so that when they bake, you've got a nice hole there where you'll put the cream. Like that. So you want to bake those in the oven um, on 120 for about 20 minutes, then turn it down for about another 40 on 100 until they're lovely and crisp. Now onto the filling. So we've got some lovely whipped cream here. And to that, I'm just going to add a little touch of sugar, just a little bit of sweetness. You don't need too much, just a couple of teaspoons. Whisk that in. And of course, another nod to Wimbledon, we'll be adding some more cream, some more pims. So a dash of pims into that cream. And these flavours, the combination are heavenly. I'm sure you've got some there to taste in the studio. So just get that nice and no, you don't want to over whip your cream, just get it to a sort of soft peak consistency. There we go. 
then. So I'm so always I'm a bit dress my uh, pavlovas. Oh, sorry. sorry, I was just saying I'm not brilliant with oh. cream. But <laughs> I, I, I like this because it's got that little bit of flavour in it. It's got, it tastes a bit sweeter. Yeah. And, and there's the extra exactly bit just as a well. little bit of sweetness and with the pims there. Yeah. Exactly. You don't need to use a lot of cream, just a little dash of it. Now, this I'm really pleased with this. I've got a lovely bit of decoration for you here, because you know what I'm like with my visuals. I've got my tennis court dust, another nod to Wimbledon. This is literally just some cookies, any cookies you like. I've got some green food colouring in there. Ooh. And you just need to sort of like mash that up. You can do oh, it actually. in a food food processor just or just by hand. Ooh. And it's obviously keep yet. doing that. Ooh. And you'll end up with this lovely tennis court dust, which looks so pretty. Um, it's a really lovely visual display for Wimbledon. So I'm just going to add my cream. These are so good. These are good. Mm. And then finally dress with a little bit of tennis court dust. And that will give a lovely crunch to the dish. And of course, the hero of the dish, these Wimbledon strawberries, just pile those on. Really lovely and juicy. Look at that. Here we go. Perfect to celebrate Wimbledon. Absolutely delicious. The sun's come out just to celebrate this. So I hope you're enjoying them in the studio and hope you enjoy them at home. They are absolutely yeah. delicious. Now, I can't take credit for this, but I'm going to attempt to do Darren on oh. camera Ford's joke. He <laughs> said, because it is Wimbledon, we should rename it Martina Navratilova Pavlova. Yeah. Thank you very much. Darren is here all yeah. week. Here, I shall Darren. bring you over Have a, a strawberry, Darren. Pavlova on, immediately. Have a strawberry, go on. Good lad. <laughs> That's your treat. Well done. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, just one. Well, well done. done, you. <laughs> right, details of today's recipe. Thank you, Juliet, by the way. And more delicious ideas from our chefs. Uh, download the free This Morning app.